everyone. So uh, I've got my trusty assistant, Lee, uh, who is leading the way with the uh, camera, so I appreciate that. So I'm coming from you live from our headquarters here in New Berlin, Wisconsin. Um, so I appreciate everyone taking the time to, uh, again, uh, take a look at our, our newest vendor. Um, we're very excited about this vendor. There's really nothing like it on the market. Um, it was just, uh, we actually, we've been working on it for about uh, a year or so, and we just got them into stock um, in the month of April. Um, so we've had a lot of great feedback. We've worked with a lot of local contractors here um, in Wisconsin, as well as gathering feedback from um, contractors really across the country uh, to find uh, a way and a solution to help out both from a, a timing and safety standpoint. And, and I think we, we, we've really done it with, uh, with this vendor here. Um, so we're gonna, again, we're just gonna do a, a quick walkthrough of it. Um, we're, we're calling it our portable cyclone. Um, it's a, will bend half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch rigid EMT, IMC, and we'll do half inch and three quarter inch uh, PVC coated uh, as well. So what's pretty slick about this as well, um, it's all, all of the conduit can be bent on the same shoe group. So you're not worrying about switching out shoes, job boxes, anything like that. Um, it's a portable cyclone. The vendor itself weighs about 35 pounds. Um, and then with the uh, threader that's actually used to power it, um, it weighs about 50 pounds. So um, if you imagine being on a job site, you're doing multiple bends of one inch rigid, three quarter inch rigid. Um, most guys are typically using either a very large hand bender, uh, which is very difficult to do, uh, very time consuming, um, especially when you have multiple repeat bends that you have to do, um, or Chicago style benders um, are also pretty fairly popular on the market. Um, but from a price point, um, it's nice because it's less expensive than a typical Chicago style bender. Um, and just from a time saving aspect compared to a typical uh, one inch rigid hand bender, um, we definitely think that there are costs, cost savings to be had, um, as well as uh, just making sure that, uh, you know, most guys, when you're using a hand bender and want it rigid, uh, you're really torquing on it uh, in order to actually get a, a bend. So we're going to walk through a couple of, couple of things. We can walk around the back here uh, just to show you how everything works. Um, so again... This is the bender itself, um, and like I said, it, it's powered by um, our pipe threader. What's, what's pretty cool about the bender itself, however, is this will actually run on most pipe threaders that are on the market. Um, the Rigid 700 is uh, probably the most popular uh, threader on the market, um, as well as the Milwaukee Tool actually just came out with a battery-powered threader that this will work on, as well as the Walt actually uh, has a... Uh, uh, threader as well. So what's nice when you buy the product itself, uh, you'll get, uh, there's two different ways of buying. You can buy with the, um, just the bender itself uh, or with the bender and threader. Um, Cause some guys will say, um, I don't need to buy the threader because I already have one. So what's nice is if you're buying just the bender itself, you'll get included with it a 12 R adapter. Um, so this is what allows um, the vendor to work on multiple brands of threaders that are that are on the market. So I'll show you real quick. It's pretty simple. Uh, as you see the uh, vendor set up, you'll just slide the threader on. You'll hear a little uh, click, and you're really good to go. So another thing uh, that you'll receive with the um, Threader is a control pendant. So this is what will allow you to stand away, actually watch the bend happen. Um, and we'll walk around the front here. So I've got right here, I've got three quarter inch rigid pipe. Um, it's a very simple process to actually um, get locked and loaded again, doing multiple repeat bends over and over and over again. So we'll just get this loaded in. So you'll see the, the pipe is now officially locked and loaded in place. So you may have noticed the uh, threader jumps a little bit and once you can't move it anymore, you know you're good to go. So here is the dial um, that you'll use as the measurements 
for um, the degree bend that you're going to be doing. It's pretty simple. Uh, here's the mark that you'll follow. Uh, so you'll zero it out and I'll do a quick 90 degree bend here. And we'll just show you how quickly this can You'll reverse it out. You've got yourself a 90 degree bend. So it's very simple. You know, you can do a 90 degree bend on one inch rigid in less than 10 seconds. Um, we've, we've actually had some contractors in. Uh, we've done bend offs with folks across the country. And again, just from a time uh, saving perspective, Time is money for a lot of the contractors on these jobs. Um, so we're very excited about this product. A couple of other things that I just want to point out to you as well. Um, a lot of the questions we get are, you know, around, you know, if you're on a job site, uh, you know, most guys will have a cart, something like that. Um, you're going to walk around the back to your lead. There's actually um, a lever here that you can adjust the degree um, of the bender itself. So that's nice where if you're on a, if uh, depending on what the bender is placed on, you can always make sure that you have a true zero degree start um, just to make sure that your bends are accurate. Um, another cool little uh, thing to point out here is the, the base can extend out, you know, especially when you've got larger pieces of, of conduit that you're doing, um, you can utilize that. And what's cool, again, just from the, the markings that are on the front, the markings that are on the front are what you'll find on a typical hand bender. So, you know, anything that you can, any sort of bend that you can do with a um, typical hand bender, you know, offsets, saddle bends, uh, anything, um, you can utilize this uh, to, do, to do the exact same bends. Any bend you can do on a Chicago style bender, uh, any sort of bend that you can do with a, with a hand bender, um, you can do with this. So again, it's it's a pretty simple pretty simple product to get up and up and using. Um, we like I mentioned, we've got all these currently in stock in Wisconsin, ready to be shipped out, and uh, that's that's really about it.